what is Risk Science? Risk Science is the most updated and justified knowledge on risk understanding, risk assessment, risk perception and communication, and risk handling, covering risk management, risk governance, and policies on risk. That is, concepts, principles, approaches, methods, and models for this purpose. The Risk Science book aims at presenting the core of this knowledge. Risk Science is also about the process, the practice that gives us this knowledge. And research is a key aspect of this process. The present book discusses to some extent also this aspect of Risk Science, but its main scope and focus is on presenting the current knowledge on risk understanding, risk assessment, risk perception and communication, and risk handling. Now, what is knowledge? The concept has been discussed for hundreds of years, and it's so relevant in relation to risk and characterizations of risk. Traditionally, the term has been interpreted as justified true beliefs. But can this interpretation also be used in a risk context? We will see. Knowledge can be seen as justified beliefs. For example, in relation to statement like smoking is dangerous and uh, the diet is fair. And we also talk about knowledge in a broader sense as covering justified beliefs, which is knowledge in a more narrow sense, plus data, information, etc., what we can call evidence. So, in relation to risk, we can have justified beliefs about C, the consequences of the activity considered. But as C is not known today, there is uncertainty. Hence, knowledge cannot be restricted to true justified beliefs. It must be justified beliefs and potentially also adding the evidence when looking into the knowledge in the broad sense. As risk science covers a wide variety of topics and issues, it is impossible to cover them all. There will always be a discussion about what are in fact the state-of-the-art concepts, principles, approaches, methods and models of a science. The Preston book builds on recent work conducted by the Society for Risk Analysis and related research, which point to key risk science terminology, core subjects and fundamental principles. These documents have been developed by a group of senior risk scientists with different backgrounds and competences. Risk analysis here is referred to the broad interpretation by the SRA tradition, covering risk understanding, risk assessment, risk characterization, risk perception and communication, and risk handling, including risk management, governance and policy related to risk. What is the best knowledge, the most justified statements and beliefs, concepts, principles, approaches, methods and models? Is clear in some cases, but not others. Which is the best is contested. Science is characterized by a continuous battle on what these statements and beliefs are. It's about institutions and power. Different schools of thought argue for their beliefs and try to influence and control the field. It's the same for risk science. The knowledge is generated, developed through research, testing, analysis, modeling, argumentation. Let's look into research. Here are two research papers. The first one is producing new knowledge on the plausibility concepts, whereas the latter produces new knowledge on the role of time in risk and risk analysis. The research conducted is conceptual research, which is concerned about improving concepts, principles, approaches, methods and models for understanding risk, assessing risk, communicating risk and handling risk. 
for further discussions about conceptual studies and research, see page 316 in the book. Consider a standard statistical study conducted to test the effectiveness and safety of a new vaccine. This study gives new knowledge on the vaccines, but not normally on risk science. It commonly applies the scientific method. And this method has the following four steps. One, observations and descriptions of some phenomena. Two, formulation of a hypothesis to explain the phenomena, for example, using a mathematical relationship or model. Three, use of the hypothesis to predict the existence of other phenomena or to predict the results of new observations. And four, performance of experimental tests to verify or falsify the hypothesis. For the risk setting studied here, the hypothesis in two is often formulated using a probability model and in three, based on observations, this model is used to make predictions for a new activity. If the data show that the model is inaccurate, model changes are needed and the analysis process repeats. The common framework for carrying out this method is statistical inference. A climate change risk assessment provides new knowledge on climate change risk, but not normally on risk science. A consulting firm conducts risk availability assessment for a municipal or country. It improves the understanding of risk, so it gives new knowledge, but not normally on risk science, but it could. Say that the risk assessment tests different ways of providing scores on the strength of knowledge linked to the likelihood judgments. Then risk research is conducted. The experience from the test, from these tests, could add new science knowledge and being published in a risk journal. This figure shows the difference between generic risk analysis knowledge and applied risk analysis knowledge. The generic risk analysis knowledge covers generic fundamental concepts, principles, approaches, methods and models for risk analysis in this wide, in, with this wide interpretation. Applied risk analysis knowledge covers concepts, principles, approaches, methods and models for risk analysis of specific activities. Also, knowledge generated by using risk analysis, example, it relates to knowledge about climate change risk, the risk related to a medical drug, how people perceive risk for specific activities, how a specific risk policy works. And the aim being to understand risk, communicate risk, manage risk for the specific activity considered. And for Generic risk science and applied risk science, we're talking about the most justified knowledge, otherwise similar. What is a science? A science is the practice that provides us with the most reliable statements, the most warranted statement or justified beliefs that can be made at the time being on the subject matter covered by that relevant knowledge discipline or field. We normally make the distinction between five main categories of sciences. One, nature, natural science. Two, ourselves, psychology and medicine. Three, our societies, social sciences. Four, our own physical constructions, technology, engineering. And five, our own mental constructions, mathematics, statistics, philosophy. So where do we place risk science into these categories? Well, Generic risk analysis and risk science is mainly five or mental constructions. Applied risk analysis, on the other hand, and applied risk science are covering all of these five. Because we are applying them in relation to nature, ourselves, our societies, our own physical constructions. So, hope you have enjoyed these videos. Now, you should really go into the book and read it carefully.